Hello Year 11, this is a short PowerPoint on what's to come over the next year. This is a simple explanation of how the course works. We've already completed Explore the Performing Arts, which is 30% of the course. At the moment, we're working on Develop the Skills and Techniques in Performing Arts, which is where we're looking at One Man, Two Governors, and we need to finish that by Christmas. And then after Christmas, we'll be performing um, to a brief, which is responding to a brief, which has been provided by the uh, exam board, and that is 40% of the course. Have a look at how the grading system works. You can see you've got 30% from your first unit, 30% from your second unit, which is assessed by me internally, and then 40% is assessed by an external exam board. So all the work you do after Christmas will be sent off to them. We are now working on component two, which is our one man, two governors. We'll be looking at developing your performing or designing skills. If you are a performer, you'll be developing a believable character, communicating your performance style and reviewing your performance in rehearsal. You will then perform the scene. If you're designing, you will design costume, staging, lighting, working alongside the actors in your group. You will need to um, ensure you've interpreted the script, the characters and the style of theatre correctly. You will then present your designs before your actors perform their scene. Please take a look at the assessment criteria for component two. We're looking for level two pass, level two merit, level two distinction. This is the final part of the assessment criteria, again, focusing on level two pass, level two merit, level two distinction. Component two must be completed by the end of this term. We have set up period six lessons. If you need support, please come along. Component three is the final part of your exam worth 40%. It is not assessed by me and the task is unknown and set by the exam board. We will not know until the exam time what is going to be in that exam paper. Unlike the previous two units where you were looking at scripts, you'll be devising your own story for this unit. The exam has four objectives focused on an unknown brief. Before we start the real thing, we will have a mock and make sure you understand all the assessment objectives. When devising, performers and designers will need to consider style, genre, target audience, what influence practitioners are going to have on your performance. Performers, you're going to need to consider your performance skills, techniques, what drama conventions you're going to put in and why. Designers, you're going to need to understand the implications of these selected performance skills and techniques in relation to your design. You'll be writing up reflections and your developments during this process. You must always refer back to the brief the exam board has given you in your reflections. Performers, you'll be expected to create a workshop performance, so it's not a polished piece based on the brief. Designers, you'll be expected to work with the performers to design costumes, lighting, set design, etc. and present your ideas before the actors perform their workshop performance. Once you have performed or presented, you will have to reflect on it. You will be completing an evaluation of your efforts. You will be reflecting upon whether you think you have met the brief given by the exam board. Good luck with your final year here at Colchester Academy and please don't forget to ask us for support.